we've made it to the Getty Center and we are already greeted by the lovely Mayo. Let's go inside and see what we can find. The most gorgeous building. This is honestly one of my favorite museums of all time. The art is spectacular. The museum, the architecture is so lovely. They have an outdoor sculpture garden, which is just my favorite thing ever. I haven't been since summer, so it's been like six months. And I'm very excited because they have a Sheila, what's her last name? We probably forgot, Morenz exhibit, but we're gonna go see that. Talked about these lovely little mollusks before and they turn around. This is the, when you walk into the lobby of the Getty. Look how cute and pretty. The Getty is so absolutely gorgeous. There are not many things that beat this view. Down here, some of my favorite sculptures. This is a Rene Magritte, my old, my old down here. So fantastic, so gorgeous. In spring, there are so many flowers. It's so beautiful. You can see that everything's dead right now, but it would be flourishing. <laughs> I've successfully found the photography section. Apparently, Sheila Metzner is downstairs. I'm so excited. I recently actually, actually discovered this artist and then weirdly found out that she has an exhibit at the Getty. So I'm so excited to see her work. I hope some of my favorite pieces are there, especially the ones where she has beautiful ladies basically making out with uh, sculpture. <laughs> uh, contain myself. This is what I came to the Getty to see. This is, these are Sheila Metzner's photographs. I've talked about her before. She is just so incredibly lovely. She does so much with other artworks, like sculpture. I've talked about this image. It has stayed in my mind since I've seen it. It is just so unbelievably fantastic. This is the Frezon method, which makes it all kind of like painterly and murky and not exactly totally clear. This is Brooke Shields. Before seeing these in person, this one was my favorite. So incredibly emotional. But as I am in person, this happens to be my second favorite. So good. But my first is this one. The colors, the dramatic hand touch. This is at the absolute best. Oh my God, I can look at it so long. Do you see it? It's so brilliant. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Amazing, never came across this photo online. Wow, look at these landscapes. Again, it looks like a painting. Apparently this is in Alaska. <gasps> Look at the... <sighs> Whoa, that's terrifying. Ooh. One of my favorites as well, I think the red and using the Frazon method and all the other colors that she has working, whenever there's red in it, it just pops so much. Okay, this one is killing me. I have never seen this one. <laughs> wow. Seeing these in person is honestly such a different experience. I'm so happy I came to the show. This is by Arthur Tress. We are entering his show, which I could not be more excited about. Okay, these are incredibly haunting. And the name of this one is called Appalachian Girl Who Is Sick With Anemia. I have an EMS so like same and she has a cat. Oh my god, that's adorable. I love this. <laughs> oh, look at this boy. Wow, new photographer favorite unlocked. Look at that. A blown up one of his prints. These children are just my favorite thing in his art. They are so emotional. I love that. This is the one that was blown up outside of the exhibit and still happens to be the best one I've seen so far. So good. The children are just so unbelievably emotional, fantastic. Most of these are obviously staged and wow. Look how good that is. Oh, the little hands. Stop. So unbelievably eerie. Like, those. 
<laughs> Look at his little teeth. <laughs> I love this one. Wild Man of the Forest. Turtle lady. Look at her face. These photographs are apparently him dealing with his own personal anxieties. How unreal. Obviously new staged photographs, but what? It's so good. We're going to recap the photography exhibits in front of my favorite sculpture here at the Yeti. This is by Renee Magritte. Oh my god, it's so good. But anyway, um, amazing, amazing. Arthur Trust, never actually heard of him until I saw this exhibit. So incredibly emotional. Um, loved his use of children. Loved his like eeriness, but also so beautiful and tender. Ways that he like used his subjects. Sheila Metzner, I've done a video on her and then I happened to see that she was at the Getty and I was coming to LA so I knew I had to come and see it. So, so, so absolutely fantastic. Um, whenever I see a show and I'm like obsessed, here's a better image of the Renee Magritte. This is called Delusions of Grandeur. <laughs> and then obviously my old, I've said how much I love this artist. Oh, it's just so emotional, so beautiful. Um, every single time I am near a Mayol, there is just some essence that comes out. <laughs> you feel the love and the respect that he had for the female form and like it just comes through every single time you are near one of his um, sculptures. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love him. He is, I'm gonna say it, but probably my favorite artist. Just standing in front of these is such a privilege, such a dream. Um, yeah, it just brings me the absolute most joy. This is the Magritte. You kind of miss the back of it because you don't see it, but look at that lovely bum. <laughs> right out there is the tram to get into Getty. And right outside, there's this little sculpture garden that is so lovely and kind of hidden. You can't really see it. Also, this grass is so fun. Look at this one. I think this is Miro. I'm not exactly sure. Let's... It is. Look at the little boop, boop, boop. William Turnbull. But I always come here because when you get off the tram and you're trying to leave, um, the elevators can be so packed. So just kind of like walk around here, look at Henry Moore, and uh, you know, wait for the people to leave. And it's so lovely. And no one's ever here. Aw, typically Henry Moore is like so, so, so abstract. <gasps> interesting oh no it is anymore it's so abstract you can't really see but this one is a literal baby very cool oh i love him look, look at the eyes it's so cute anyway how absolutely peaceful i'm not sure what this guy is he also looks like a henry moore if it is you can see how abstracted they typically are and it is a henry moore so these are typically like so abstracted and you can like somewhat see a body if you turn and close your eyes. <laughs> Whereas so interesting, that one is like a full on little baby body. Forgot how awesome this grass is. Like what is happening? It is so beautiful. I wanna live here, like in the grass. Like a tiny little house right there. The elevator is empty so it worked but you got to be kind of quick because if you're not quick the next tram will come around and then you're going to be left walking through the garden again which is not awful 